YouTube, it's the DIY King here. Um, I have another video, and in this one, I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 6.1.3 device. Um, I have an iPhone 3GS here, that's what I will be jailbreaking. And it has an older boot ROM, so it actually has an, it actually can run an untethered jailbreak, but. If you do not have this older version of the iPhone, you can your um, jailbreak will be tethered, so you will have to. Um, actually, the one that we're doing is going to be semi-untethered, unless you have this iPhone. And semi-untethered means that um, every time you reboot it, Mail, uh, Safari, and any city of tweaks or apps will not work unless you reboot it using red snow while it's connected to your computer and um we might as well jump right into this so um you can download oh uh, and um to this uh you will require it's required that you have the um uh ios 6 firmware for your um, I device that you're gonna jailbreak firmware file even though it's running 6.1.3 and this um, allows the jailbreak to be semi untethered so it will still work a little bit just the mail Safari and CDF will not work so you're gonna want to go ahead and download that for me it's iPhone 3GS 6.0 iOS and you can download the latest version of Red Snow from here. So I actually have both of these, so I'm just gonna cancel them. And then you're gonna want to launch Red Snow. And for Red Snow, you will actually um, once you first download it, you're gonna want to go into you're gonna want to right click on it, go into Properties, and click Compatibility, and make sure this program is running for in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack Two. It, only if you're running Windows 7, if you're running Windows XP, everything should be fine. And you're going to want to make sure it's being run as an administrator. So, I'll just run Red Snow. Then you want to allow it administrator privileges. And then, you just click Extras. Then click Select SPW. And browse to the ISPW that you downloaded and mine's right there 6.0 and since my iPhone is older you can actually uh, like since this uh, iPhone has an older boot ROM the exploit works with an under the jailbreak but the jailbreak still works fine but it's tethered so to check if you have an iPhone 3GS, which is the only thing that, you know, I think it's the only iDevice ha that has this capability. So if you have a 3GS, you can check if it has a newer or older boot ROM um, by checking the, the uh, going to settings general and clicking the about screen and finding the serial number. And you can actually also find it on your sim tray. And the week number is usually the fourth and fifth digit of the serial number and if the third digit isn't nine you definitely have a fixed boot ROM so that that's the newer model and units made week 45 or later of 2009 usually have a fixed boot ROM before week 40 they usually have the older one so I build one so I'll click no and then I'll go back here and then I'll click jailbreak prepare the jailbreak data and once that's done you just want to make sure you install city is checked I'm going to actually install a custom boot logo, you can do that too if you want, you can download them off the internet, you can do whatever you want, and I'm going to get mine from here, I made this one myself, so 
have that there, and then just click next. And then you want to put the iPhone in DFU mode. So to do that, just hold the lock button. For, oh, well, actually, turn it off first. Sorry. Make sure it's connected to the computer while you turn it off. And then to enter DFU mode, just hold the lock button for three seconds. Keep holding it, then hold the home button while you're still holding the lock button. Hold that for 10 seconds until the screen goes black. And then release the lock button while you're still holding the home button. Do that until Red Snow recognizes your iPhone. Okay, so Red Snow has recognized my iPhone and now it's just uploading the data for the jailbreak and executing the jailbreak. I was just downloading Jobic data. And then from here on, the rest of the process will continue on your iDevice. This will take a while, so be patient. It might take, uh, it should take about five minutes more or less definitely shouldn't take it should take under 10 minutes for sure so you just have to be patient for this this part will take an especially long time so just wait it out and everything will be good okay so now that's complete and there's city And as you can see, your iOS 6.1.3 device is jailbroken. Thanks for watching. See you next time.